Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power to come on down the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez. Show my for facts over feelings. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. And I know there's something comparable to it by Ben Shapiro, but it's not the exact same thing. I'm still looking into this, but I like that one. I'm, I'm liking that one the most. Let's talk about the WNBA ratings and the continued abomination of them. It is absolutely wild to listen to the continued narrative that their ratings are going up. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, last year, the ratings peaked at about 900 and 900,000, something like that. It was game four of the WNBA finals, and they peaked with the Liberty and the Aces in game four. Let's remember that. So, who played in the semis? The Liberty and the Aces. What does that mean? It means it was your most watched series last season. It means it will likely do a little bit more on its own because of what it was last year. It's a rematch. While it's not in the finals, it's still a rematch featuring the last two WNBA MVPs. And there's some bad blood. There's some bad blood. But again, the WNBA in their infinite wisdom think that Competing with the NFL makes sense. I, I'm je- I thought they had a shot at getting a million. I thought they had a shot. But if they did, it wasn't going to be much more than that. But I, you know, I thought there was a shot. Well, they fell short of that shot. That's your number for that game on Sunday. That was the 3 o'clock game. And I will say this. Yes, I'm sure you already know these numbers because they have been posted. But I always like to give my little spin on things and how how I look at it and and what I see. But, again, this is your number, 979. So your three-time WNBA MVP went out with a whimper. She took two shots in the fourth quarter. Her Her first shot was with 227 to go in the fourth. And it was blocked by Brianna Stewart. And then she hit a bank shot three to make to get, cut the lead to 15. It was, was 18. The game was already over. Remember, this was a two-point game. See, consider the fact this was a two-point game going into the fourth quarter. And I watched the fourth quarter. I wanted to see it. Okay. I watched the fourth quarter. And by watching the fourth quarter, I contributed to the numbers. But it's bananas to me that even when the game, and people check their phones and so forth, even with the game that's a two-point game going into the fourth, an elimination game in which, of course, the Las Vegas Aces could not sell out. They're building seats 12, not 10, 374. And she's 12. But when you look at it, what you see is the reality that exists. People don't care. People just don't care. The NFL will always reign supreme, and people who might have actually watched it still aren't going to watch it. It's just what it is. You feel me? It's just what it is. Now, that's the deal. That's the number, 979. Now, if you want to tell me that the ratings went up a little bit, yeah, sure, from last year's game, sure, yeah. But you know what? They should have been over a million. Should have been. Except that Caitlin Clark wasn't playing. And this just proves to you over and over again. Remember, Caitlin Clark did 1.8 million in game one against Connecticut. She did 1.8 million. She did 1.8 million.
If she was playing in a game in a deciding game in the semis, it'd probably do three and a half million. But she's not, so it wasn't, and it didn't. But then you get this train wreck. The Sun and the Lynx, 538,000, a game that the Sun won in a building that drew 78.49, a building that seats 10,000 people. You didn't sell out again. Like, I, I, how many, how bad is it? And these tickets were $10. $10. You could have bought five of them for less. You could have bought five of them for less than two hot dogs and two drinks and fries at a, at a, at a dump at an NBA arena. This is what the ratings looked like last year. 538 in the playoffs. That's what they look like last year. So don't tell me the ratings have gone up because last I checked, Caitlin Clark's in the WNBA. And so, yeah, Caitlin Clark made ratings go up. But since she's been, since you've been gone, the ratings have gone in the toilet. But the WNBA will tell you that you're wrong because they're not looking at the big picture, which is that Caitlin Clark is the reason. It is. She's the reason. Don't sit here and feed me horse shit and call it freaking chicken. Don't feed me chicken shit and call it chicken. And tell me that the ratings are great and better. No, they went down since she left. Stop lying. Attendance of 78.49. God. Connecticut, the people in Connecticut don't even want to watch their team play. They don't even want to watch it. That's how bad it is. They don't want to watch their own team play. In a Band-Aid box. It, it, it's, it's laughable. It's laughable. But it is what it is. It's the same shit we keep saying we, over and over. Whether you're Asia Wilson, whether you're Alyssa Thomas, whether you're Dewana Bonner, Dijanae Carrington, Nafisa Collier, Sabrina Ionesco, I'm, I'm told it's UNESCO. I thought it was INESCO. I don't care. Okay. UNESCO, Brianna Stewart, John Quell Jones. It does not matter who it is. There's only one person that commands the true numbers, the true attendance. It's Caitlin Clark. But hey, the WNBA is going to tell you that it's a great thing, you know, that they got going on. And they're going to go ahead and they're going to compete with the NFL again. In the WNBA Finals, I don't think that I've seen that ratings dropped yet for yesterday's Connecticut-Minnesota game, which I can't imagine did more than like 700,000. If it did more than that, I'd actually be surprised. I'd actually be, I'd actually be impressed, I should say, because I don't think it would do more than that on a Tuesday night. Going What's today? Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, today's Tuesday. I think. What's today? Shit, I forgot what day. Today's Wednesday. So, yeah, I was on a Tuesday night. No one's going to care. No one cared. I did watch the last. I did watch half of that game. I will say. I watched half that game. It was on one of my TVs behind me. I was watching baseball, and I was watching that. And I was watching the Florida Panthers in their season opener in hockey against the Boston Bruins. Let's go, Panthers. Start the season 1-0, baby. But, yeah, I watched it. I wanted to watch Connecticut lose. That was enjoyable to watch Connecticut lose in a rather non-competitive game. So you can imagine, because it was non-competitive, how many people turned it off. But anyhow, that's all I got. I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts on this attendance, on this, on these ratings. As once again, you combine them together, they still don't equal one Caitlin Clark game. Caitlin Clark, the woman that drew a million plus every Friday night, the woman who was drawing. Numbers better than the Lynx and the Sun on NBA TV. The woman that that, that averaged 1.2 million per game all season. You all ain't her. Y'all ain't her. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to pound that like button. Subscribe. Ring that bell. Also, while I got you here, be sure to check out our other channel, my other channel that I created, Rudy's Rant. 
It's a, just a solo Rudy's Rudy's Rant channel. Be sure to subscribe to that one as well, um, because we're I'm gonna be building that thing up also. I'm gonna continue to do Rudy's Rant here on Come On Now the podcast. This is this is where we formed, but uh, please do check that one out. I'll be dropping some other stuff on there. So check it out. All right. Thank you so much. Sure to like, subscribe, and pound that like button. Pound that share button. Come on now.